in this exercise we will be creating a provider class which will be extending this SQLite database so the rules are very simple mechanical the way we had a monotonous rule for the web services similarly we have some set of steps for the persistent storage in SQLite so if you have 10 database files in your project there should be 10 guard classes or the 10 provider classes so in our case we have one SQLite file so we need to create one model class having a same name as your database name percent db which will extend SQLite database so let's create a provider class say new file cocoa touch class subclass of SQLite database now it doesn't come in auto suggestion because it's a user defined class not inside the and I'll give the same name as my database. So I'll say percent DB model extends SQLite. Yeah, I'll create. Now this class will perform all your queries. So if oh sorry, we have used the different file. So I'll go back to the new file. Instead of iOS, it was OXX. So I go into iOS and say SQLite database percent DB model create. Now we will be performing four simple queries insert delete update select so for that we need to create four sqlite 3 statement now for c pointers for c object or c variable they use a general term called c opaque pointer so for all your statement so we'll say insert person c opaque pointer equal to nil Okay. Similarly, you will have so number of queries to be fired on your database will be equal to number of statement. Update person, delete person, select person. Now we will be overriding the init constructor. Now see here we are using word init. Constructor can have same name as your class name, right? That's a characteristic. So whenever you create any constructor, you call using class name. But while creating a constructor, we use word init as we have discussed in a previous exercise. So I'll say init. It will give me some errors. So I'll say super init. Now by super, I have db file name and delete editable copy because that's a constructor we have created in your sqlite database so i'll be using that i'll passing i'll pass person db dot sqlite and delete editable copy as false okay so in my init i've called my super constructor so my i'll go into my super class which is sqlite database now this constructor doesn't do anything special it first creates the path of my database and store that path in writable db path that's it now because all your sqlite file or your document file goes inside the document directory to get the document directory path these are the two lines standard two lines by the apple okay once you get a document directory path you will put slash the file name so your writable path will be nothing but document directory path slash your path separator and your file name now before we try to open the database we need to know whether the database exists on that path or not so we have to use file manager which is called ns file manager again a singleton class for entire hard drive so we'll check whether file exists on that path or not writable db path if it doesn't exist basically it means your file is not in your document directory so you have to copy your file from the bundle directory to your document directory so you'll get your bundle path by using ns bundle okay main bundle dot resource path plus 
slash plus your file name. Now file manager will copy the file from bundle path to your writable db path. So once it's copied, you are done. So next time when you call this method again, the file will exist and it will come outside. So here you are just printing your writable path. So this constructor is nothing special. It's just checking whether file exists on the path inside the document directory. If not, it will copy the file from the bundle to your document directory. Now, in next exercise, we will be start creating, initializing this all four statement with the respective query statement. Okay. So, instead we will be writing, so it is variable, we will be assigning them in the instead query, update query, delete query and select query. 